a famine is coming. We're going to need to be there for one another for such a time as this. <laughs> Um, I honestly, <laughs> I, I didn't really plan on doing this video today, but um, I think that I am supposed to do this video today. I hope that everyone has had a great day. I hope that everyone has had a prosperous day. I hope that, you know, um, that daily you're drawing closer and closer to the Lord because I do understand that, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a battle. I believe the Lord told me that a famine is coming. Let's back up a little bit. Let's back up to, um, you know, if you have been following me, you see in my videos that um, I talk about how the Lord, you know, how he changed my life, um, how he turned my life all the way around in 2019. When the Lord told me this, this was in 2020, um, the beginning of 2020. So if you just, you know, if, if you think about that, the Lord changed my life around turned it around in 2019 and then now you know and this was like I think like around like August or September is when like he really started um when you know when I got baptized uh, baptized again and things like that now this is in January where um where I heard you know that a famine was coming on the day that the Lord shared with me that the famine was coming um I was sleeping and I remember I was asleep in my living room. I was like taking a day nap and um, I just heard it. I just heard it. I just heard him. I just heard him speak. I just heard him, you know, uh, tell me that a famine was coming. And so like, I kind of tried to act like I didn't hear, like, you know how you hear something and then you wake up like, okay, like, let's just act like I didn't hear that. <laughs> like, I don't know why I did that when it's just like, you know, you heard that. But like, I wasn't sure. Like, first off, I really didn't know what a famine was. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. I didn't know, like, I thought stuff like that, like, only happened. And this is me being ignorant. I get it. I was, I didn't have the knowledge, like, of this. But see, this is how good God is, right? Because I remember like one day at my church where uh, a pastor um, over at the well in Livermore, um, he was preaching one day, okay? And when he was preaching, he was like, you want to be able uh, to, to, to save your family from a famine? And you know, like I'm on fire for God. So I'm like, yes, I want to do that. I didn't even know like fully what a famine was. Like I was just like thinking like, you know, like I just didn't really understand. But like for some reason, like I was there, like, you know what I mean? Like for some reason, like I was attracted to that. Like I was, it just resonated with me. Like, yeah, I want to be able to do that. Not knowing that like it was coming, you know? So I don't, um, at that point, like I was like, okay. So fast forward to, that was in 2019. And I was like, yeah, I want to be able to save my family from a famine. Like, you know, use me, Lord. And so like, like I said, January 2020, that's when I heard it. So when I woke up out of my sleep, like I tried to act like I really didn't hear it. Cause I really didn't know what to do. Like, okay, it's coming. Like, I didn't want like fear to start sparking up in me and rising up in me. Like I just didn't want none of that. Now, was it January? Okay. I know that it was the beginning of 2020. So then COVID hit in March. Now, actually don't quote me on the January. It had to either be January or, or, or February. It was either January or February because when COVID hit, um, cause I kind of tried to put the famine, the whole famine thing, like in the back of my mind, I had uh start going out and, um, I was like doing Instacart at this time. Right. So I was doing Instacart or whatever, and I was working full time, um, as well. I started doing Instacart and I started noticing like tissue was gone. Things were just like disappearing from the shelf. So 
in my in my ignorance <laughs> i'm like it just clicked like famine oh my like wow is this what the lord was talking about right and so like i felt so bad because um i was like you know i hope this is not what the lord was talking about and maybe i was supposed to because mind you I was still like trying to make sure that I was hearing like that it was God's voice. I was still being trained to hear God's voice. So like I wasn't sure if I should share this. Like because I know like sometimes like the Lord don't want us to share stuff, you know, um, unless he wants us to share it. Like some stuff or, or, or at a certain time, like I just believe that he'll be like, OK, share that now or, you know, share this or, you know, be still for now. Oh, share it at this time. And so, like, I was like, I should have shared it. And I just felt so bad. So, like, it was one time where, like, I'm telling you, like, <laughs> I, I seen something. Okay? I seen something. And that even further confirmed, like, what he was saying. So, I ended up going, I believe, I, I think I went on Facebook and I was like, you know, I told Facebook, like the Lord told me, I believe the Lord told me that a famine is coming and this is that or whatever. Um, if you follow me on Facebook, if, you, if we're friends on Facebook, you can see that. But I, it goes all the way back to that. So I said it there, right? So like my faith is rising even throughout like COVID and, and, and stuff. Like my faith is literally rising with God. Like he's just strengthening my faith. Um, at this time, like, and it was just such a blessing because like, even during a time like COVID, like I was getting closer to the Lord. Like, you know, I was really just like, I really was on fire for God. And like, it's just, God is just so good. And don't get me wrong. Like, you know, I've fallen short as well. So, you know, nothing has been you know, I'm not Jesus. So, you know, he lives inside of me, but I am not him, the Holy One. Um, I, I, I believe I can share this. He had given me, because around that time, like he telling me like things to do at this time, like, you know, do this, do that, do that and do that. Um, I was like looking into stocks and stuff like that. And so when I was looking into stocks, there was one time I had this vision um, and I had this vision of like, Sam's Club and Costco right next to each other. And I was thinking like, maybe he want me to, maybe he want me to invest in that stock. Let me look up Walmart and let me look. <laughs> like I said, y'all, I was still being trained, like, and I'm still being trained to hear from a guy, you know, but I was like, maybe he want me to invest in them stocks. I never invested in them stocks. I waited, you know, um, to see exactly like for him to confirm what I was doing. But at the time, like I just didn't understand. But see, as I moved to uh, when he, when the Lord told me to move to San Antonio, it confirmed what he wanted me to do. I ended up getting like a membership at Sam's Club. Um, and just one day, you know, the Holy Spirit just confirmed like, that vision was saying like stock up because those are the only two stores where you can stock up right is that sam's club and costco i mean that where i live at i believe that those are the only two like real stores that people know about so like those were side by side and i'm like when do you ever see costco in sam's club side by side like you don't see that in the physical like when do you do that so like i had to like really grasp what he was saying and to be honest with you, I might have seen what he was saying in California. I don't know exactly when it when when uh, the revelation came, but though that's one of the visions that he gave me. And then after that, like he started confirming it. Um, he confirmed it in some visions. He also had confirmed it um, in um, in ways of uh, uh, a couple more people. And, um, you know, it was just, it was just confirmations, um, that came along with it as well. So I had shared it on Facebook or whatever. And of course, like, you know, I don't really care, but, um, people think that you were crazy when you were saying certain things, but like people can't really see it like in the physical, um, you know what I mean? But 
you know, it's the same thing when it comes because because a lot of people are like, well, you know, I'm a child of God, so I'm going to be OK, you know, um, and I do agree with that. Um, but we also have to understand when God told Noah to build, you know, uh, the ark, we got to understand that he told Noah to build it in a certain way. Um, and even though he did tell Noah to build it in a certain way, God was the one who shut Noah in. So I want to um, say that as well. But um, it was the obedience. It was the obedience of Joseph. Um, the reason why his family was able to live like they did during a famine. He told uh, Joseph that there was going to be seven years of abundance and seven years of a famine. And so I am here to tell you that I believe that the Lord has shared with me that a famine is coming and we have to prepare because God said that he will tell his people before these things happen. So yes, we are children of God and we're going to be okay in the mighty name of Jesus, but we also have to prepare. We also have to be obedient. That's basically just like saying, oh, um, you know, I want a job. Uh, the, the, the manager or the supervisor is not just going to like, you know, um, walk in, inside of your house. You have to be obedient to walk outside, get in your car and go to the location of where your interview is going to be at. I mean, faith without works is dead. You know what I mean? We going to be good, but just understand that we must be obedient as well. So I just believe that the Lord has been telling me to stock up stock up on waters you know if you look at um i live in texas right now texas did not see the snowstorm coming at all like as i looked years ago there was a snowstorm i mean years ago i'm, I'm talking i think like decades ago or something like that don't quote me on that but um they were not prepared for that and i think that that was like you know um something that um maybe the Lord allowed to happen to show us like we need to prepare for things like this like you know keep some candles in your house you know I've been stocking up on candles I've been stocking up on bottled waters that was one thing that I believe the Lord told me to do uh has led me to do is stock up on waters you know I don't know if something's about to happen with the water or whatever it is oh shataya um, I don't know if something's about to happen with the water, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. But stock up on waters. I believe I was led to share this um, on TikTok. I had shared it on my TikTok. And, um, you know, that was probably like a couple of months ago. And now I'm sharing it here and I'm, I'm, I'm just here to tell you and I'm here to share with you that I believe the Lord has told me that a famine is coming. I don't know when it's coming. Um, I, I don't know when. I don't know. But I just believe that the Lord shares these things with us so that we can be prepared. He told us that he would let us know when things were coming ahead of time before it happens so the best thing that we can do is prepare our families you know what i mean because god is sharing with us things that the government's not gonna tell us you know what i mean so that's why it's so important for us to to to, to keep close to the lord because we cannot trust man we can't trust man so stock up on your waters okay Every now and again, even if you can't get a lot of them right now, just every time. Look, I'd be going in Sam's Club and people would be looking at me like, where's she? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm stocking up. That's what I'm doing. And so I would get little by little. Sometimes I'll go in there and, you know, and, and get, I'll just get what I could at the time. And, um, and, and get cans and, you know, um, get things that are uh that that shelf life is going to um you know be long those are the things that we should be stocking up on so stock up stock up i'm not talking about be greedy but stock up because somebody may not listen somebody may need our help so even if you stocking up 
stock up you know if you're like oh i'm already stocked up okay maybe you need to get a little bit more because somebody may need your help during that time like we see how it was when COVID hit and everybody was rushing to the store and things like that but see if you stocking up little by little if you are prepared you don't have to wait till a disaster happens you know what i mean to to to, to get what you need we don't know what's about to happen. We don't know what the Lord is. Is We know that a famine is coming. Like I said, I don't know when, but I know that he has confirmed it. I mean, I just know. I know that he has confirmed it. I mean, several visions. And I'm talking about like now it's, you know, uh, October of um, 2021. This is something that um, that I heard at the beginning of January. You know, and so, you know, when you get get words like this from the Lord, like you don't know when, I mean, unless he says, you know, tells you, you don't know when it's going to happen, but I would rather be prepared and my whole family be prepared than my family be without. So, like I said, I would advise everybody to go out, get your bottled waters, get your canned foods. Like I know that, and this is not no conspiracy stuff. This is not, this has nothing to do with conspiracy like I said, when I heard, when I believed that the Lord told me this, I tried to act like I didn't hear it. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa now. <laughs> like, I, I didn't know that. I thought that that type of stuff happened like in other countries, not here, right? But let me tell you, we're living in times where we're going to see a lot. I just believe that. We're living in times where we're about to see some things that we've never seen before. We're living in times where we're going to have to really trust in the Lord. We're living in times where we have to get used to being uncomfortable. We're living in times to where we're going to have to cast fear down. We cannot be fearful. We have to literally walk by faith. We have to literally... You know, when God tells us to do something, even if don't look like that thing can be done, we got to just do it. We got to just do it. <laughs> we got to just do it. We got to just do it. I was just, you know, um, <laughs> I was I'm not going to lie. I was binge watching as I was working too. <laughs> this young lady's story about how... Um, the Lord led her to buy a house and she said, and, 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 you know, he, she said that he told her to buy a house and, um, her circumstances didn't look like that, that thing could happen. But God, you know what I mean? Right now it may not look like whatever, but we just have to trust God and whatever he's saying, everything that he tells us, it may not, may not seem like it's good. Famine don't sound too fun to me at all. I, I like I said, I didn't want to have. I didn't. I act like I didn't hear it. I was like, I, I literally woke up like, oh, yeah, right. I, I didn't hear that. I just, <laughs> but you know, later on, it just you know, it's like the Lord was like, you heard that, and um, I, you know, so I started sharing it. All right. And now I'm sharing it on here. I've never said this on my channel before, you know. Um, but today is the day. It's time because I believe that. I believe that the Lord wants us to be prepared for when this happens. He wants us to be prepared because if he didn't want us to be prepared, then he wouldn't have shared it. Now, um, like I said, he confirmed um, I forgot this, 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 this believer's name, um, that actually spoke it on his, but it made me remember the word that he had given me that this famine was coming. Um, so like I said, I'm not going to keep y'all long. Um, I just want to come on and share that. I'm trying to think if there was anything that I missed. Um, he gave me the, that vision, um, of Sam's Club and Costco right next to each other. He gave me visions, um, stock up and don't stock up just for yourself. Stock up because there's going to be some people who are going to need 
They're going to be in need. They're not going to have supplies. There's going to be some people that we need to help. And in this time, we have to really not only think about ourselves and think about our families, but let's start thinking about one another because there's going to be people. There's already a whole bunch of people out on the streets, y'all. The homeless population is, is continuing to rise every single day. That's what it seems like. That's what it looks like. The Lord said that he will give us enough. He will bless us enough to share with others. So don't only stock up for yourself, but stock up for somebody else too. Stock up for that single mother who needs your help. Stock up for that um, elderly woman who may, you know, who, who may not have any family. Stock up. I'm telling you, stock up. Don't think that this is a conspiracy theory because it's not stock up get your bottled waters i'm talking cases i'm talking cases like i said i don't know if something's about to happen with the water but that's i i, I don't i'm not too sure but i'm gonna say i believe that is what i don't know if something's about to happen with the water y'all i don't know but this is what i come on to tell you today is that Stock up bottled waters, get you some candles. Um, if you go on to walmart.com, uh, um, they have uh, these um, like emergency food packages things that you know that you could probably look into. I may um, I may put them in a the description. Um, they have that. Um, there's like different places that have like emergency uh i think they're like 24 hour like uh i think they're called freezer dried foods or something like that um that i would look into too just to have like why not be prepared not that you were being fearful but no why would god tell joseph to stock up because he was preparing him so why not be prepared why not be prepared we're about to see some crazy stuff, y'all. But I want to tell you something. This is the perfect time for God to show his glory. This is the perfect time for God to show his glory because I just believe that so many people, you know, um, are going to even be blessed during this time. So many people are going to um, walk right into their promises. I'm talking about the people of God. That's what I'm talking about. The people of God. I'm talking about let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. I'm talking about inhabiting houses. You know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about God really showing up and showing out. Not that he don't every day because we got breath in our lungs. But I'm talking about the kingdom rising. The, con the, the um, kingdom continuing to rise. Okay? Just know that he who starts a good work will bring it to completion in the day of Christ Jesus. And I just want to declare on today that we will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. All right. So stock up, get your waters, get your canned foods. If need be, you know, grab some rice, those big at, 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 um, at Costco and also at Sam's Club. They have those big old um, pounds of rice. I think the, the I want to say... I don't know. And they have those beans. The beans, I think they're like $40 for like 50 pounds. Um, and then they have the rice and stuff. I don't know exactly how much it is, but get y'all some, you know, some tuna. Or I, We don't know what's about to go down. But I do know what's coming up is the kingdom of God. So do not be fearful. Walk in faith. Walk in authority. Walk in victory because we're going to need to be there for one another. For such a time as this. Like never before. Alright. So 
Y'all continue to be blessed. Continue to know that if God be for you, who can be against you? All right? I hope that I have um, said everything that I was supposed to say today. Because uh, I just jumped on here. I know I needed to say this today. But a famine is coming. Like I said, I don't know when. I don't know the exact date. But be prepared. So that you can make sure that you and your family and whoever else needs your help. Can have what they need. Stock up on that toilet paper. Stock up on that those paper towels. Um, don't be greedy, but allow the Lord to lead you every chance that you get. You know, even if you can get small things, even if you can get things, you know, um, solely but surely. There was a time where um, they had loaded a whole bunch of money on on the, uh, for 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 everybody that that has food stamps. They had loaded like I think a lot of people got a lot of funds on their food stamps. When I looked, I was like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> but that was a perfect time to, to, to not only get things for your household then, but to get it for, you know, um, later on. So anyways, one more thing that I want to share is um, around that time, um, in my previous video, um, I shared how before the Lord told me to move to Texas, he allowed me to um, to read like, you know, uh, Genesis where, um, you know, he sent Abraham. Also, there was another um, story that he had me read in the Bible, which was the story of Joseph. So, you know, it just confirmed like to me, like what was going to happen next. Um, so that's another way that he confirmed uh, with me and, and take this to the Lord. That's what I'm going to say. Take this to the Lord and pray about it and ask him what you should do. You know, um, how you should act on this. All right. So have a great night and um, I will see y'all soon. Okay. Bye bye.